When calibrating for an OpenCAP data collection, log on to the web application and start a new session, where you'll be provided with a QR code. Open the iOS application on your iOS devices and scan this QR code to synchronize them with the session. Then mount these devices firmly on the tripods. Bring the calibration checkerboard into the field of view of all cameras. And you want this checkerboard to be as close to the cameras as possible while still in each camera's field of view. Next, enter the parameters of the checkerboard. The square size is the length of each side of a black square. The number of rows and columns are determined by the number of black squares that have touching corners. For example, in this image, there are four rows and six columns. If you use the default checkerboard provided on our website, these default values are pre-programmed into our web application, and you should only change these if you use a different checkerboard. You can next hit calibrate, and the calibration will be processed in the cloud. On the left-hand side of the screen, you are then shown images of the calibration results. Like the example images on the right side of the screen, a successful calibration will have blue dots on the interior black-to-black -black corners of the checkerboard. If these dots are not precisely in these corners, you should press back, adjust your setup, and recalibrate. You will also see a reference frame in either the upper left or lower right of the checkerboard. The important thing to check for is that the blue axis appears to be facing into the board. In this calibration, the first image on the left has the blue axis pointing into the board, so it is correct. You can press the green check mark to accept this calibration. The second image appears to have the axis pointing out of the board, so you would press the red X. If the correct image appears at this point, then you can press the green check and confirm the entire calibration. Otherwise, hit back, adjust your setup, and recalibrate. We have tips on our website to ensure a smooth calibration process, so be sure to reference these if you have problems. It is important to put the checkerboard on its long edge or horizontally, but it does not matter which side is up or down, but do not place it vertically like shown here. It is also very important to have the checkerboard standing up, exactly perpendicular to the ground, not leaning forward or backward. 